Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine Tech Help Show. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to burn ISO disk images to a CD. For those of you who don't know what a .iso file is, this might be confusing to you, but a big, big thing with backups right now is they'll compress an entire image, like an exact replica of a disk, to a .iso file. So when you come across these, you can actually burn an exact replica of that disk to a CD, uh, using a .iso image. Thankfully, Windows 7 actually has a built-in ISO burner, so it makes our lives a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, on my desktop, I did download a uh, .iso file. This is one that I got for free. It's a Hitachi's Drive Fitness Test. It's a good tool for testing hard drives. But uh, what you need to do is, right now you see this icon is because I have Nero. Okay, I have a Nero burning utility, which actually costs money. But if you don't have Nero, it should default to the Windows 7.iso burner. If it doesn't, you just right click on it and you want to go to open with and there's a Windows disk image burner. So go ahead and select that and then the uh, disk image burner comes right up. Now of course you need a DVD or CD rewrite drive in order to actually burn an ISO image. Uh, whatever image you downloaded or .iso file you downloaded, you're going to want to make sure that it matches whatever the uh, the original image was. So in other words, if the ISO was created from a CD, then you want to put in a blank CD. If it was created from a DVD, then you want to put in a blank DVD. So that's pretty much all there is to it. After you select your drive, uh, you put in your blank disk, you select the drive, you can verify the data. I always recommend you do that. And then you just click burn and it'll burn the image right to your CD. Um, this is a lot easier than even using the Nero one in my opinion. So I actually started using this as my default. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't have to leave uh, comments and ratings and like this video if you uh, liked it. And also you can follow me at Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. Uh, remember, the domain has changed. It's PCMTechHelp.com. The old one will still work and will work forever. I'm um, just trying to make it a little easier for people to get there. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to swing by and uh, ask questions at the forum. Thanks again.